to be able to watch Chef Ruben cook up a dish in front of me. It is, it's an absolute honor. Okay, so today it's all about sandwiches. You know, when we talk about sandwiches, I think we, our minds immediately go to the things that we, that we enjoy or can make quickly every day. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a peanut butter and jam kind of guy. Um, obviously today we're not making any of that. <laughs> today we want something more creative. Um, very seldom people sort of become creative with sandwiches. We're gonna show you a, a sandwich using the ingredients that was in the mystery box with obviously a little bit of a twist, yeah. okay? And we hope that will inspire you to make something similar or yeah. better. Let's get going with the beetroot. So the beetroot, we are going to make a jam. Let me peel the apple and then you can put all the rest of the ingredients in. I mean, Arthur, he knows how to cook, but obviously still a lot to learn. So I don't want to give him <laughs> too much. All right, food. this is what you say about me. <laughs> okay. The idea is, you know, we're busy building flavors. Yeah. I mean, part of the creativity is that, you know, we know how sort of flavors work together. We know when we bite into something that's, oh, Never had that before. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea, that's what we want. Yeah. Okay, apple is actually a classic uh, combination with beetroot. Yeah. Okay, apple goes in there. This is another ingredient when they make sort of uh, pickled beetroot. Uh, aniseed is another ingredient that goes really well with mm. beetroot, goes yeah. well with apples. And then some honey. And uh, one more ingredient is our ginger. So just sort of using the microplane. Okay, right. so that goes onto the heat, and then um, the peanut butter. Actually, one of my favorite things, eh? It's, I mean, black cat especially. Uh, we're making uh, like a satay sauce, yeah. okay? So we know satay sauce is a kind of a Thai peanut, uh, peanut sauce, basically. Yeah. So we have coconut cream. Butter, will you put a nice dollop yeah, of our black Let's cat do peanut that. in there? A generous one. There we go. Right. There we go. Okay, and then we want some sweetness with our honey. We need some heat. I mean, satay sauce, chili. Okay, that goes in there. Some garlic. Okay, so we have a two more ingredients to add to it, but this gets added towards the end. So we're gonna cook that down, let it reduce a little bit, and then um, balance that kind of sweetness with the lime and with uh, our Thai fish sauce, okay? Next step, is obviously, it's a sandwich, so we have to get to bread. Arthur, so we're using uh, Albany, best of both. Tell yeah. us about what makes this so special. I mean, best of both, I mean, it's a taste of white with the benefits of brown. You know, kids sometimes can be fussy around brown bread. So when you have best of both, you're getting the benefits in there with the taste they love. And talking about this awesome bread, we also want to elevate the bread and be more creative with the bread. Yeah. So, we are gonna make our version of a French toast. Okay, so we dip it in there. Don't want all of it to go in there and then onto quite our sesame seeds. So quite interesting that you're using sesame seeds. I am learning a lot about flavor combinations and just different textures like sesame seeds on bread. That's amazing. How do you guys feel so far? Are the ideas sort of going through your heads? What else you can add? Yes. Our French toast goes into our pan. There we go. We don't have any more liquid in the chutney. Okay, so you can reduce the heat there. And I think our satay sauce, I'm gonna give it a little whisk. You guys can look at it here. Can you smell it? it a bit of chili. I actually couldn't think of peanut butter becoming a sauce, but I really love how he incorporated that. So, very interesting. Okay, lime juice goes in there. It's all about balance. So balance in terms of flavor and then obviously texture. Thai fish sauce. Okay guys, our bread is done. I think it's time for us to bring everything together and also show you what we did with the other ingredients. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Right, so we've got everything here now. You know in your box was also feta and chicken. So we've crumbled the feta, we've added some dry chili to that and some coriander. And then the chicken, we've uh, fried them in a tempura batter. So we have, this is another element that brings not just taste, but also texture. Arthur, so let's assemble. Let's put the beetroot on first. Oh, I always love the crunch from the lettuce. Okay, 
there goes our yeah. chicken. And now, yes. my yeah. favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I would say maybe sprinkle some of our Ooh. feta over there. Let me do it. <laughs> Look at the color contrast, yeah. right? right? Color your plate. Yeah. <laughs> maybe a tiny bit more of our beetroot. Of course. I will take beetroot anytime. <laughs> Oh, hear that crunch. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's see what that looks like inside. Oh, okay. oh wow. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Don't you just want to get in there? Yes. Okay, guys, with really sort of simple ingredients. So there's crunch, there's loads of flavor, but it's still a sandwich. Mm. But a lot more interesting than your normal sandwich. We want to taste something really great today, Arthur. And you've got an hour to make it. Let's taste. The sandwich was absolutely divine. You know, the flavors were there. The texture was there. The sauce brings it all together, like all around it. Mm. Right, guys, you've tasted it. You've seen us do it. And now it's your turn. Inspired? Oh, Very yeah, inspired, inspired yes. Yeah.